Welcome to Cine Maryland, your inside look into Maryland's film and television industry. I'm your host, Rebecca Jessup. One of the many exciting genres of film is the documentary, which has been defined as a visual expression attempting to document reality. In this show, Cine Maryland takes a look at a number of exciting Maryland-made documentaries. Two-time Emmy-nominated documentary storyteller Stephen Fisher is working on a new project called Old School, New School. It's a study on the nature of creativity and how young artists can achieve their full creative potential. Old School, New School is basically a series of conversations that I have with master storytellers. Uh, talking about things like finding your own voice, taking risks, defining success in the arts, things that I think are the essentials that any storyteller needs to really consider in order to uh, be able to grow and improve, you know, self-develop as a creative person. How do you become the most creative you can possibly be? Old School, New School tries to answer the question. With the help of his associate producer, Diane Lee Davison, Fisher began making a list of the people he wanted to participate in his documentary. The starting point was, I think, Stephen's influences, people that were important to him in his various work um, works. And then from there, we just built on that and uh, started going across multiple disciplines, multiple cultures, um, and gleaning also from advice from others. Anybody who tells a story and who has something to share about the process they go through to become a better storyteller, to become, to tap into their own individual creativity. Uh, so looking for all, across all disciplines, but at the same time, looking for a wide range of, of people, uh, you know, not just Americans, looking for the European perspectives, African perspectives, Asian perspectives on the subject. You know, um, I, I tend for the, for the documentary version to focus on people who are 50 years or older to keep in that, that whole motif of, of going to the older generation for wisdom. Fisher was thrilled to be able to set up a dialogue with one of Hollywood's most respected cinematographers. William Fraker is incredible. Uh, nominated for six Academy Awards. He's been working, I think one of his early jobs was a camera operator on the Lone Ranger show, the TV show in the 50s. Um, an, an incredible human being, uh, an incredible storyteller, and uh, a very generous human being, as I found out. You know, I mean, he literally just opened up his home and said, all right, come on in and let's talk. You know, I was just some guy off the street. Fisher says his interactions with these storytellers are not formal interviews, but conversations. We just sit down and talk about art and life and philosophy and why things happen the way they do and how can I get from uh, where I am to where I want to be. You know, not me personally, but as the, the audience. Um, how do we do this? And uh, forget about the camera, forget about lights. Um, Forget about putting on a facade that you always put on when you talk about, when you're promoting your movies. Just talk to me. Let's just sit down. Fisher believes audiences will enjoy and appreciate these intellectual discussions on finding your own voice, taking risks, and defining success in the arts. I find that life experience is, is the most entertaining part of the conversations. Uh, when, when the subjects open up and share personally uh, an adventure they had and a lesson they learned, what they've learned from their whole experience, that's what people tend to gravitate to, obviously more so than somebody spouting theory about something. He hopes college students and young people just starting out professionally will benefit from watching Old School, New School. And the things that we're talking about in the movie aren't necessarily prolific statements that, that have never been heard before. They're, they're just constant reminders that we, we all need to hear throughout our, throughout our lifetime about uh, just keeping a level head as, as to what creativity is and, and how we tap into our individuality and nurture that individuality. Because you know, we, as individuals, hopefully are evolving as we grow. So we're, hopefully we're always discovering and rediscovering things about ourselves. And as artists, expressing that creatively. So th you know, the value of it for, for any audience members is just going to be the continued education of self-discovery. In order to gain feedback on his work, Fisher arranged screenings and panel discussions using focus groups. Well, it was an important dialogue. It, first of all, it was important for 
for us to see the response to some of the screenings, um, s to some of the videos that Stephen has um, at this point in time, and um, getting the feedback, both creatively and technically, and um, then hearing the dialogue between the master storytellers who are there on the panel and the students in the audience. It's also just very enlightening and encouraging the fact that people did show up and that they were very interested and they, the response to it was very positive and optimistic and, and uh, enthusiastic and uh, to discover the, all of the like-minded people who are out there and, uh, and what they contribute to it. You, you, you get out there into the world and, you, and you just be, you're very open and honest and you say, this is what I'm doing, this is what I have and you never know who's in the audience who's, who's able to help in some way. For more information on Old School, New School, check out oldschooldoc.wordpress.com.